Okay, starting where we left off, uh, this will be the next chapter, or uh, chapter one in this uh, How to Open Up Your Own Gold Store by Grunt TV. Okay, um, location and signage. Picking out the proper location is vital for success or failure. Uh, just like in warfare, lo it's location. W where the battle happens needs to be in your advantage at, at all points. Google Maps is your friend. Um, it's very it's very good idea to uh, use Google Maps to properly identify uh, what's that your competition around you stuff like that and uh, to map out areas that are most interest towards you highways aren't that good of a location in my personal opinion uh, because people driving like a 60 miles per hour won't even see your fucking store uh, freeways are much better like surface roads um, like main roads with a lot of traffic stops. That's where people will stop and see your business and uh, uh, it'll become better known that way over time. And remember that people that need money will come into your store. So where do people need the most money? It's like uh, uh, there's a few people like one guy knows he would open up places around police stations and low income areas because at police stations uh, people get arrested. And they need to uh, and they need to make bail money or uh, or pay off a certain fine. So they actually go in, go into a store and sell jewelry and coins and shit so they can pay uh, what's that the uh, not loan shark uh, the fuck is that the bail bondsman. <laughs> so keep all of that stuff in uh, in consideration. Remember, this is full spectrum dominance. What you want to do? You want to put yourself in the best possible location as possible so you don't fail. Um, also, monitor traffic and ease of entry to your store. Um, that, that's a big thing like is, is your store easy to get to from the road how how easy to see from the road you don't want to put your store in the back where no one can fucking see that shit okay locations and signage restrictions local state and federal ordinances and codes are gay as fuck and um, they'll always get in the way of you making money uh, but always remember there's loopholes to this shit there's, there, there's loopholes always around this so don't fucking give up remember vets don't fucking run away they just move sideways. For you fucking uh, civilians, that means uh, they flank, they, they go around them, and they shoot them in the back. <laughs> Signage is a big fucking thing that local ordinances come down on. But um, the best way to advertise your business is with signs. So uh, let's say they don't let you put up an LED sign. They don't let you do all this stupid shit that you want to do uh, to gather attention off the road. What you need to do is find out how ways you can. If they won't let you put up a sign, put it on your car. If they don't let you put it on your car, put it on a car that moves around. There's always a way. Uh, or hire a person to hold up a sign, uh, because protesting is still legal in America, to hold up a sign saying, hey, we buy gold here with that arrow. That always works too. Um, also, a good way to, um, to gather intelligence of what you can and can't do uh, with your business when it comes down to signage is to uh, contact other businesses in your area. Never tell them what kind of business you want to set up. Always lie to them. War is always deception. Lie. You you have to fucking lie to them. Don't, don't give them a heads up because they could fucking tell their friends like, hey, some guy, some guy is fucking trying to set up a coin store here. You better fucking jump on this place. So never tell them what you want to do. Set, tell them you're setting up a baby store or some shit like that. Um, also, whoa. <laughs> There's a lot of shit that gets in the way. An uh, operation choke point. I'll get I'll get more into this um, in the next slides. But yeah, they have um, what's that? Coin stores, jewelry stores, pawn shops uh, listed along with gun stores and porn stores and shit like that. So, um, but there's ways to still make money with this. They're putting all these restrictions and saying that uh, we're money laundering operations. Well, we're not. Well, we're just people trying to make fucking money. But um, th th this is uh, this is the same for all sorts of businesses. Okay, so signage and marketing. If local dick faces won't let you put up the LED sign you want to, there's alternatives. Like I said, you could use your car parked or moving. Um, look into LED signs like saying flashing "We buy gold, we pri we buy gold, highest paid." Even if it isn't, because the general public are fucking stupid. I mean it. it they wouldn't be coming into your store if they didn't need money. That means they made stupid fucking decisions that made them go and have to sell their gold to make up for whatever. <laughs> so yeah, you can take advantage of that. The whole point of business is making money. The rules of acquisition always apply. Register your business with Google 
So um, it, on Google Businesses, I think it is. So it pops up on Google on Google Maps or searches when uh, when you want to uh, when customers want to find someone somewhere that they can sell their gold. Uh, make sure you have a website. Uh, it could even be crappy, but just make sure you have something. Also, it's a good idea to have social media accounts like Facebook, Instagram, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And also another tip, a pro tip uh, down here is to create fake Google accounts to give your uh, business good reviews. Um, this creates an aura of trust and honesty. Remember, if you if you're really fucking bad, if you if your business sucks and you're a dick face, the, the, this shit's not gonna help you out anyways. No matter how many good reviews you fucking have. But remember, war is deception, and business is war. You need to make money. Okay. So after you you figured out how you're gonna do all this and what and what the local ordinances uh, require and stuff, what you do next is incorporate. Um, the reason why you incorporate is you don't have assets in your fucking name. Um, if it's not in your name, you're not liable. If your dumbass runs over someone, it, your business can't be sued. And uh, also, every NCO has at least one divorce. Um, so this means like your significant other can't touch your business if it's incorporated because a corporation is a separate entity. Um, also, if you fail in your business and you have to declare bankruptcy, your personal assets... <laughs> you don't have to declare them. You only have to declare all the assets of the corporation because the, the corporation is a separate entity. It's also very good for tax purposes. You have to research your local, state, and federal uh, what's that, laws, uh, regulations for taxes to find out your lowest tax rate. The shit differs. Like in Florida, an LLC is, a, is one of the best ways to go, but North Carolina is not. You need like an S Corp or some shit like that because what's that? Like LLCs pay more money. Uh, uh, pay more money in taxes versus an, an S corp or something like that. Uh, I forgot what kind of corporation is. They have many different kinds. Doing business as sole proprietor makes you vulnerable to all sorts of crazy crap. Remember, if you run it as a sole proprietor, you're you're responsible for fucking everything, and you could be sued for this shit. Okay. Next step after you incorporate is to get your tax ID and licenses. After you incorporate, you want to go to irs.gov and get a tax ID number. Um, with a tax ID number, you can fill out all the proper forms with the refinery so you can go uh, flip the gold you bought for about like 60, 60 to 70 percent off the street and flip that for 90 to, to 98 to 99 percent of spot of, of whatever uh, spot value is of that day. Um, find out where to get the proper per permits. This differs from every city, state and federally. So what I'm saying in this video for like Florida, North Carolina, this shit could have fucking changed already. So you have to research all of this shit yourself. Um, it, it's, it differs from uh, locality to locality. I was looking to Georgia a few times and between uh, different counties, some counties you have to wait 30 days to melt. Some, uh, some other counties you only have to wait like a week to melt. Some other counties you only have to wait like two days to melt. So you have to find the best county for you. Um, Google's a good place to start. City Hall's another good place to start. The City Hall of, of, uh, of whatever city or county that uh, you, you want to set up your shop in. Call around uh, before wasting time going to places. That, that's a big fucking thing. You don't want to just show up like an idiot because you might you might be in the wrong county because you, you really don't know the area. Also, you, you look up uh, Operation Choke Point. It makes coin shops, pawn shops, and gold shops. Uh, you have to register with Department of Homeland Security. It's gay as fuck. Basically, the government has full access to your bank account. They know um, all the transactions that you're doing with your bank account. So, yeah, they, they monitor everything. They, they're doing this because uh, they have us listed as what's a possible uh, money laundering front. So, th this is another hindrance, but don't let this discourage you. <laughs> don't let this shit discourage you. Okay? Uh, and, yeah, keep proceeding. Local requirements and hold time. All local and state regulations differ for the amount of time you have to hold jewelry before you can flip it to a refinery. Like in a in like Miami Dade County, what's that? You have to wait a week before you can flip it. Um, during that time, uh, what's that? The cops can come in and uh, and see who you bought gold from. Because in Florida, in Miami Dade, you have to write down everyone's ID and write a description of it. So if this ass if this asshole like John Doe sold you, uh, I mean, uh, is going around selling uh, stolen gold, uh, they'll go around like, hey, did John Doe buy, uh, uh, buy gold from you? 
or sometimes instead of asking, they'll just take all your uh, buy sheets and, and read uh, read through it itself and see if like uh, who bought it and um, uh, what you might call it and what they sold to you. Um, so yeah, at that time, the police can seize any stolen items and they don't have to reimburse you. So whatever you bought from that uh, from that fuckface that sold you stolen goods, uh, that's a loss, <laughs> and you're probably not gonna get your money back. You could take them to court, but 99.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999